April 29th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, 280 people confirmed dead in the tornadoes uh, yesterday, um, or today as you're watching this. And uh, the con tornadoes uh, warnings continue up the East Coast as I record this video. So uh, let's begin. Earth changes, Scott.net. U.S. historic flooding unfolding along the Mississippi and the Ohio rivers. As if tornadoes and damaging thunderstorms were not enough, historic flooding is also threatening the Mississippi River below St. Louis, as well as the lower parts of the Ohio River. And uh, this is the area where the <clears throat> Army Corps engineers wants to uh, demolish some levees and relieve some pressure. All your levees are going to be put to the test here real quick. U.S. tornadoes take staggering toll in Alabama and deep, deep south. A massive thunderstorm front spawned 137 tornadoes and killed at least 180 people at mangled sections of Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Huntsville, Alabama on Wednesday. April is now one of the most violent weather months in the region in decades. And they're saying it's worse than the 74 one. Uh, again, U.S. Tennessee Valley shuts down all Browns Ferry nuclear reactors after storm. That was three reactors they shut down. They had damage to the high voltage lines. Uh, and another story, this one's the... They look at the death toll from the storm system that spawned tornadoes decimated the south. Here are most of the recent death toll states hit hardest by storm system that spawned dozens of tornadoes across the southeast, killing at least 280 people. 194 in the state of Alabama, 33 in Mississippi, 33 in Tennessee, 14 in Georgia, 5 in Virginia, and 1 in Kentucky confirmed deaths due to this storm system that continues to roll through the United States. East Tennessee wakes up to massive storm damage. Again, this is just one big, big, crazy storm. And they've got a... piece about the Icelandic volcano would it ground airplanes again and uh, how the airports are ripping people off for the baggage claim, late baggage claim something um, due to the last volcanic eruption when they had to ground all those airplanes. And uh, another story out of uh, the tornadoes. Record number of whales krill found in Arctic bays. Scientists have observed a super aggregation of more than 300 humpback whales growing on the largest swarm of Antarctic krill seen in more than 20 years in bays along the western Antarctic Peninsula. And, uh, yeah, there's just, they're saying in the story that uh, usually it ice is over by now and uh, it forces the whales to migrate elsewhere for food. And uh, every day when these krill naturally come to the surface, the whales come in and feed. And uh, it's pretty much a boom right now, but it might hurt them in the long run they're talking about. Um, over to the extinction protocol and uh, the only thing they really have today is uh, a story on the whales and the crabs that I covered yesterday and basically the question mark omen scientists dismayed as millions of aquatic animals swarm Antarctica and again um, do they know something we don't know uh, basically uh, something to pay attention to what are the animals doing and then they got the the story I covered last night about the two nuclear plants in a week that got shut down due to tornadoes. The only thing really on the watchers tonight um, is they've got a story, Sky Watchers Be Ready for Meteor Shower from Haley's Comet on May 6th. And uh, get up in the wee hours of the morning, May 6th, and head into the country far from the city light so you can observe Eta. Acrid meteor shower 
Uh, the ETA acrids are best viewed from southern hemisphere, but there's something special about them no matter where you live. And basically we go through the tail debris of Halley's Comet twice a year, once in uh, October, November, and then again um, this time of year. So it's a, it's a nice light show for everybody who likes to look up at the sky. Over to the RSOE, um, they don't have anything new on the Fukushima situations, but uh, they're definitely, they've got tornado reports out of Virginia, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, uh, extreme weather in the state of Mississippi, Mississippi-wide, that includes tornadoes and all the devastation going on right now. Of course, the ongoing situation with the volcano in Ecuador, uh, the flooding in Colombia, the flooding in Brazil, the flooding in Canada, uh, the volcano in the Tau volcano in the Philippines. New today, extreme weather in the state of New York, 83 mile per hour gusts of winds reported, and that is F1 tornado strength or a hurricane in the grand scheme of things. And of course, they have trees down and power lines in the works. Um, and then they have the, the down power, the nuclear power plant due to the storms. Uh, what else we have? Tornado in the province of Ontario, Plattsville, Fergus, Canada. Power outages in Ohio, flash floods in the in, in New York State, Syracuse region, uh, heat wave in India nuclear event in Bulgaria in the K-O-Z-L-O-D-U-Y nuclear power plants apparently they were switching out some equipment and um, the radiation level increased to a year's amount allowable and they got everybody out of there uh, they're saying there's no big danger but yet again here's another safe uh, nuclear power plant in the world and they want to build more of them and, uh, of course, the tornadoes out of Alabama. And, again, that is about it for me today. Um, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, leave your comments or attach your videos below, of course. And uh, tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day. I'm going to go out mushroom hunting and I'm taking the camera. So I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy what you can. Today was absolutely beautiful.